Hi everyone, this is Deborah. We're going to do an update on the chicken thief. He's now, I guess, what do they call it? An outlaw at large? What do they call that? No. They've, they've given him a title, but they, they continued the Huskies court case uh, for um, him getting chicken. So, my brother is not negligent here. I'll tell you why. Because Chief, the husky who's had it forever, I have lots of pictures of me and Chief. He has an electrical shock collar, and my brother does have the electrical fence in the backyard. But his uh, youngest daughter had to move in during her divorce, and I think her children are leaving the door open, and Chief goes out the front door, which does not have the electrical fence, so my brother did have to hire someone to put it in the front yard. Um, that's the thing with dogs. That's how I got run over, is because my screen door didn't shut all the way, and two of my dachshunds came out, ran in the road, and then when I was trying to save them, the lady did not see me, even though I was standing in the middle of the road with my hands up like this. Stop, stop. Uh, yeah, so the, the court case has been continued. Oh, <laughs> uh, so that's what that's about. And then about the traitors, they're, I guess they ran out of food next door, so now all of a sudden they're back over here, you know pretending like they like me now again. <laughs> but I wake up every morning to uh, like 10, 12 point bucks in my backyard. I'm training them to stay away from my tomato plants. I put extra cages on top and I installed this sprayer. It's motion detector, it also detects the heat. But I learned something that um, if you're, um, the sprayer, if, if they are coming in between those waves, it will not activate. So you have to put the sprayer so that if your plants are here, they have to walk through the path this way, you see. And that way it'll be picked up. You can't use it when it's going this way. It won't pick up. But I got it to work. I tested it. Uh, and, of course, I have fun with anybody who visits me. I said, why don't you go walk in the backyard? No, we know what you're up to. Yes. So I recently installed my dehumidifier because we've had a lot of rain, so much rain that this wonderful flower pot was so full of the rain. I had to tip it over and drain the water out. So I had to put it under an underhang. So that's the thing when you have outdoor planters and it, you have torrential rainstorms, it, it just about killed my plant. I, I'm afraid to even go out there and look today. But uh, during that time, my son went downstairs and he looked at my sump pump and he noticed a couple things that he needed to tweak. So he went and bought some PVC and he rerouted the, uh, the pipes so it's less, less because there was pipes that somebody had put in before I bought the house that were going this way, this way, this way. So he just made a direct line. Um, I guess it would be easier to pump out, but the, the sump pump is working. But I was going to buy some more filter cloth because the filter cloth I have is really filthy. I need to wash it. But I found out that the weed barrier that people use in their uh, yard for weeds water can go through that. And I thought, well, that would be a cheaper thing to buy uh, instead of the filter cloth. So I'm going to try that. Uh, so my son did a little work on my sump pump. And I, I talked to my, one of my neighbors and they said that there's been a big issue with pit bulls uh, on the street. I don't see any anymore, but there was a time where there was pit bulls. But if you ever see a pit bull, you should go seek safety because you don't know if that pit bull could be dangerous. Yeah. And I also found out there's a couple coyotes running around Lynchburg. Yeah. And, uh, but the deer here are so tame. You can sit there and talk to them and they just look at you. Yeah, they just look at you. So that's the update. I'll say goodbye. Thanks for listening.